welcome back welcome back hey <laughs> welcome back to my channel so today's video is two very requested videos mashed together so i told you a few weeks ago i was going to be doing a q and a i put on my instagram a lot of people left me tons of questions and i have some questions also on that video uh but i'm going to be answering a lot of your questions that you guys have i see there's a lot of subscribers here hi and you might not know that much about me so i figure it would be a good time to do a little q a answering your questions so you could get to know me better but i am also going to be doing my makeup because you guys have been asking me for a full face of makeup and i really don't do like full face of makeup all the time and I'm just gonna do pretty much what I do every day, but I will be using all drugstore products. Um, actually, I'm gonna be using Milani products uh, because, guys, they sent me pretty much their whole collection and I almost peed my pants when I opened that box. And this is not sponsored. They didn't ask me to do a video. They just sent me the makeup for me to try. Uh, however, if you've been following me, you know that I love several uh, of their products and I already use them. So. I figure I would just do my whole face how I pretty much do it every day and it's all Milani products so are very affordable I also have a coupon code they gave me or not a coupon code for myself but they're running a friends and family um, so if you guys want to check out the link in the description box you can and I'll put the coupon code here if you guys want to use it uh, but it's a really good deal this is very affordable makeup it's great makeup and you know you can get some money off so yeah Let's get started with this video. I'm gonna try not to edit pretty much anything. Like I'm just gonna run with it. Uh, so it's gonna be a long video. So make sure you have time to watch it because I'm sure it's gonna be long while I answer questions and do my makeup. And I'm gonna try to go quickly through the questions because there's tons of them and I wanna answer as many as I can. So I'm gonna try not to like stay talking about them because we all know if you've been following me that I could like talk for days. So. I'm gonna try to stay on top of it but yeah it's gonna be a fun long video also don't judge my lashes i have to get them done i probably should have done this after i got them done but my girl is like super busy and cannot take me in until next week so i have to roll with them like this i did do my eyebrows um well in case you don't know i wear eyelash extensions no big deal but um i also got did my brows myself i don't get them done but um i pencil in my brows because that will save us some time on the video so without further ado let's go ahead and get started my, put my hair back have a sip of coffee let's get started so the first thing i'm going to put in my face is the one of the couple things that is not drugstore but i've been loving this so this is summer fridays it is a jet lag mask and it's supposed to be a mask but i use it as a moisturizer and i use it every day under my makeup and i swear it just makes my makeup look so good number one number two this hydrates your face like no other so i have really d dry skin so i need things that hydrate my face because i will get dry patches in a second if i don't use something that really hydrates it and this has been amazing definitely recommend it it looks kind of like a face lotion uh, if you see it it's just like face lotion and a little bit goes a long way so i've been putting this every day on my face um oh the only thing i did have before this which i put before i went to breakfast is um my sunscreen which i wear every day is the kula um sunscreen but i shared this with you guys before so i put this all over my face and it is so hydrating you guys and it looks beautiful under your makeup and it makes your makeup look good and it doesn't like mess it up it's not greasy it's perfect so that's the first thing I use. So let's start with the questions. The first question is, is Penelope okay? So yes, Penelope is great. You guys see her tone is very involved in her life. And so are her grandparents. Tone's mom, what, oh, this is another question. Like who watches her when I go to work? Tone's mom watches her when I work in during the day, which is Wednesdays and Thursday mornings. I work in the morning, so she watches her because Tone is also at work. But she's doing really good. I feel like she still sees us together and she's very happy. Her dad is involved, I'm involved. Um, and yeah, I don't think she has, I don't know. I don't think she has suffered too much from the split up. 
but um another question do you ever get anxiety about anxiety about being alone no or living alone i really don't i'm scared of the dark and i think i've told you guys this but for some reason i don't really get scared being alone um i've lived by myself before like before when i was in college i lived by myself in an apartment um then i lived by like i lived here before so i don't i don't really get anxiety of being alone being alone is not something that has ever faced me or has scared me um i actually enjoy being alone sometimes i like just like doing my own thing and not being bothered by anyone to be honest um another question is aside from youtube where else do you work there's a, a lot of questions about that um so you guys know YouTube has become kind of like my main job, but I also pick up shifts at a French restaurant that I used to work at back in the day. Um, I just figured I needed something to make extra cash and also something that will work with my schedule with YouTube and being with Penelope. Like I don't think I am ready right now to get a nine to five job. And to be honest, nine to five, is not who I am it's not something I've enjoyed I've had jobs in like sales and stuff and I really really dislike them and will hate my life um, let me just put this on my lips so we keep moving um, this is the lip mask from Laneige I don't know how to say this La La whatever however you say this but I've shared this with you guys before love this It's a lip mask I usually put it at night but I also put it uh, when I'm doing my makeup this keeps your lips super hydrated uh, yeah, 9 to 5 has never been who I am, even though I went to school for it. It's just not who I am. And YouTube became a blessing when it became a form of income for me. And other than that, I don't mind going to the restaurant. I have a lot of friends there. We hang out. It's easy cash. I make a lot of money. I'm not going to lie. I make a lot of money there in the couple of days that I work and I still get to be with Penelope because I'm only gone for a couple hours. So it really works for me. That's what I've been doing. Uh, let me get some primer going here. I'm going to be using the Milani Prime uh, Perfection. This is a face primer and it's a hydrating face primer. Again, I have really dry skin, so I like to use things that are very hydrating. This one I've used before and it's a great primer. Uh, the one that I've been hooked on is the Hydro primer from milk cosmetics and that's pretty much what i've been using uh, all summer because it's great for summer it like really helps your skin uh when you're on the heat but now that we're turning into cooler temperature i'm gonna start using it this one again but i've used it in the past and it's a great primer at a great price so i'm just gonna put this here uh so yeah that's what i've been doing uh and it really works for us I still have time to be with Penelope. I'm not gone all the time. I only work three days a week and they're not even full days. It's like part-time days. I mean, another question, oh, my mom is calling me. I'll call her back. Another question I got that has to do with that is do I ever wanna go back to an office job? And I think I just answered that. Oh, I don't know if the right thing, right things right thing comes maybe but again i am not looking to have a full-time job because it just wouldn't fit in my life with doing youtube youtube is something i'm passionate about i love it whether i make i don't make a lot of money on youtube but i still love it i love doing it i love talking to you guys i feel like starting my youtube channel helped me so much and such a dark time in my life like some dark times in my life like i wouldn't say dark times that makes it sound really bad but just times when I needed I needed something YouTube helped me like you guys helped me like when I moved to Louisiana and decided to start my channel when Penelope was a baby I was a stay-at-home mom I had no idea what I was doing I'm pretty sure I was a little depressed and YouTube is what got me out of like a dark hole and you know going through the split up I feel like YouTube also helped me talking not I mean reading your comments and your messages and just knowing that I'm not alone makes things better so i love doing youtube and i don't see myself getting a full-time job where i will be gone all the time i love the life i have with p and being able to wake up with her and hang out and do things so no i don't think i will get a corporate job anytime soon but i'm not one to say never or ever so who knows but i'm not thinking about it uh potty training 
seems like it will never happen. Oh, guys, potty training is not going good for us. Penelope hates the toilet. I keep trying. She hates it. Now she's finally sitting there, but she will not go in the toilet. Even I, she tells me when she's peeing, she tells me when she has to poop and we run and we could sit there for 10 minutes. She will not go. So that's not going well. All right. So let's get started with foundation. So for foundation, I use my Sigma Flat Kabuki is my favorite foundation brush. And then for foundation, this is pretty much what I use every day. You guys ask me about my makeup. This one is the Milani Conceal and Perfect. So it like conceals, it's full coverage. Um, you could build it up too, but I think it has great coverage as it is. Right now, I'm in the shade 05A. They have so many shades. So, and I love, love, love that because you will find something that will match your skin. Um, and then it comes with a little pump that I also like. So I'm gonna put some on my fingers. On my finger, sorry, my my mirror is over there i don't know why i would put my mirror over there but this is why i don't film these kind of videos guys because i swear i don't have the right setup for this so but you know this is a very informal get ready with me um after i'm done here i think i'm gonna go look at cars because i don't know if i told you but i am switching my car Ooh, and i'm getting a mom car an suv so have dotted on my face, good to go. I'm gonna use my kabuki and I'm just gonna press that down and go all over my face, just pressing it down. All right, so let's keep talking about questions. Why do my foundation? Uh, uh, go to lip combo. Go to lip combo is pill talk from Charlotte Tilbury. That's probably my go to because it goes with everything. It's, a lot like the natural color of my lips so it just goes with everything i love their lip liner i love their lipstick and i sorry guys my allergies are really bad so if i'm sniffly don't hate me um if and i love their lip gloss so i love all of that collection that is my favorite lip combo um but there is other ones that I really like. This new collection from Milani that they sent me their lipsticks, I'm obsessed with because I think they're great for fall. They're very warm, like tones and mauvey colors and like earthy colors, which I absolutely love for fall. So I actually been using those a lot. Uh, but yeah, my favorite combo has to be that. And if I want like a really nude lip, my favorite combo is mac strip down with uh mac which one is that lipstick oh no not with mac with charlotte tilbury uh kim k lipstick and um oyster girl from mac listen this is real real life right here my allergies are terrible if you live in the lehigh valley where i live and you have bad allergies this is not this is miserable. I take allergy medicine every day of my life. And the moment I go outside, I start sneezing. If I don't take allergy medicine, you guys, my eyes tear, my nose itches. I can't stop sneezing. It's, it's not enjoyable. It's one thing I hate about living here. All right, so I always bring down my foundation up to down to my neck because you want to do that. You want to be looking like you have a mask on so at this point i would do my brows but my brows are already done and for my brows i use the um benefit pencil so now let's do concealer which is what i do after i do my foundation and my brows so the next question is uh would i ever get a dog or a cat for penelope um I don't know I thought about it but I don't think I will get one anytime soon I grew up with dogs I love animals I love dogs I had cats at one point in my life even though I'm very allergic to both um, I always had hypoallergenic dogs so a poodle then we had Maltese's um, and I had dogs growing up but when they die it really sucks it's so sad and you know dog dogs take time and money and I just don't think I have it in me right now to have a pet. 
um, and take care of P. Maybe when she's older, I would like to get her a pet. I would like to, uh, but it will have to be an hypoallergenic one because probably not a cat. I'm very allergic to cats and I had cats for five years, but I was super, super, super allergic to them. I just lived through it until I really couldn't do it because I also have asthma and it would trigger my asthma so bad that finally I did have a scare and I was in the hospital for five days, a uh, couple years back a few years back and uh the doctor was like you need you need to get rid of your cats because this is gonna keep happening so i ended up getting rid of them so i don't think i will ever have a cat again uh, but maybe a dog i just don't think anytime soon so oh sorry i'm like sweating uh all right so now that we have foundation we're gonna do concealer and my concealer is tarte shape this is my holy grail all time concealer this is pretty much what i use all the time unless i have no makeup and then i'll use a more like less coverage concealer because this is a full coverage concealer but this is my go-to it's so good so i'm just gonna go ahead and put this and i put it kind of like in a triangle form here you know this area because i kind of like highlight also with this i put it on the bridge of my nose a little bit Cupid's bow and a little bit right on my chin. So once I have that, I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of like blend it in. And again, I'm not rubbing it in, I'm pushing it in. So let me see one other question so we could keep moving forward. Do you think you'll be doing any cook with me kind of videos? Yes, I will. I'm gonna try to start doing it again. But if I'm gonna be honest, uh, now that it's just me, and Penelope, I have barely been cooking. I mean, the days that I work, I usually won't cook. And the days that I have off, I'll cook one day and have leftovers for the next day. And some days, like I told you guys, I could cook, but I don't love cooking. So that's one of the good things about being single is if you don't feel like cooking, you don't cook. Like <laughs> before I used to cook because, you know, Tony used to come home from work and want a dinner and, you know, I get it. But like now... I could make Penelope anything and I could seriously have a salad every day or have something quick. So that's why I haven't been filming videos because I really have not been cooking much. I think I have cooked a handful of times since I've been living by myself. And also sometimes I'll be like, oh, you know what? Tonight I'm going to cook. And then my friend will invite me to dinner at her house or Pina will invite me for dinner at her house. So. I feel like everybody's nobody calls me ever and then I sit down to do a video and everybody calls me and then just to blend it with my foundation I go back with the kabuki no product whatever product is left on it and I just kind of go around the parts where the concealer was just to kind of like blend it in a little more you know you don't want any harsh lines on your face okay next question how do you manage or see that you're managing this new role being alone with P at home? So, um, I think I'm doing okay, but I do see myself getting behind on things just because I have such a busy schedule. So I feel like, if I'm going to be honest, I feel like I'm slacking in a lot of things, but I feel like I'm doing okay at the same time. Like, I feel like emotionally I am doing okay. Like I feel happy and Penelope's happy and I feel like emotionally I'm at a good place, which to me is very important to be at a good place with myself and with my life. But I do feel like I'm slacking on YouTube because I used to post three times a week and now I'm posting like two. I feel like I'm slacking on the, how, uh, the housework because you know, sometimes I work so much and, you know, I try to like work on YouTube and pick up more shifts so I can make more money and try to spend time with Penelope and do fun things with her. So like I talked about it on my last vlog, like, or I don't know which video is going to go up first, but I talked about it on a, on a vlog, you know, sometimes I just choose to leave the housework aside because I know it will be there. The wash will be there. The dirty house will be there for me to do. And I'd rather like go and take Penelope to the park or have her, 
her little friend come over and have them paint outside and do things like that because to me that's more important but I do feel like sometimes I'm slacking everywhere sometimes I feel like I'm slacking as a mom because I'm working so much and I don't see P and the time that I'm seeing her is to put her to sleep and then waking up to clean the house or get stuff done so I feel like some days I feel like oh my god I am failing at a motherhood and some days I feel like hey I'm a rocking motherhood but I'm failing at YouTube or some days I'm like you know what I'm kicking ass on YouTube but I am failing at making extra money on my other job so it really it really depends on the day but I am at a better place so I feel like as long as Penelope is happy and I feel content I think we could just do everything but yeah some things have changed sometimes I'm taking a shower with Penelope at the same time so we could save time at night and you know now she watches TV before bed with me because that's the time that we have to cuddle in my bed and I found myself letting her come out of her crib and lay with me at night in the middle of the night in my bed because it's just us and she's little and she's not gonna be little forever and I want to cuddle her so yeah some things has definitely changed as how they used to be but you know you guys know me I like roll with the punches and kind of go with the flow I don't like to stress myself out about things that I can change or you know I just kind of just go with the flow but yeah some things have changed and some days I feel like I'm failing at everything some days I feel like I'm not uh, all right, do you think down the line there's a chance Hugh and Tom will reconnect? Reconnect. So I get a lot of questions about this. Uh, and I know you guys are so ruling for it. Wait, I have to like keep doing my makeup. I forgot. Now I'm just talking. <laughs> this is going to turn into just a chat uh, video. But all right. Once I did that, I'm going to go ahead and set my concealer. So I've been using the Kylie setting powder. This is the translucent powder from Kylie Jenner. I am so impressed with this. I got it in Miami because my little uh, Laura Mercier one, traveling one, uh, I ran out of it. And I was like, you know what? Let me try it because I've been using Laura Mercier setting powder forever. So I decided to buy this one and I actually love it. It makes your skin look so flawless, so pretty. It has kind of look at, not a shimmer, but it does have a little, not like a super bright like glittery or like highlight shimmer but it has a very light shimmer to it but i really like it it doesn't make you look like dry or anything like that and it's very fine powder too so i use this brush that is from i don't even know it came with something years ago i kind of just i'm not baking so i'm not putting like a ton of it but i'm gonna put enough that i look a little powdery and I put most of it under my eyes, like wherever I put the concealer under my eyes, my cupids above my chin, and my forehead, my T-zone gets like oily. And then whatever I have love left on the brush, I kind of just like put it all over my face just because, I don't know, I feel like it helps my makeup stay all day long because most of the time I'm doing makeup, I'm going to work and working a whole shift and I sweat and I want my makeup to stay looking good. So... I just let it soak in a minute there, soak up all the goodness so everything is nice and set. But, okay, so do I think that me and Tone ever will reconnect? Um, I don't know. I, again, I'm not one to say never ever, but I feel like our relationship has run its course and I feel like it's very important to realize when something has run its its course. Why is that so hard to say? I just feel like it's it's a very hard thing to do, but it's a it's a very important thing to do because when things are not working out, and this is why we decided to split, even though we still got along, because we didn't want it. I mostly did not want to get to that point where we both hated each other and couldn't even look at each other because the only person that would have suffered out of that would be Penelope. So I feel like it's it's a hard realization for you to do like oh crap my relationship has come to an end like you know it, it's over but it's a very important and like very liberating realization in my opinion so i feel like our relationship ran its course as it was as a couple but tone is always going to be a part of my life i'm always going to have love for tone he's the father of my daughter and i could hate him some days but i love him and you know I don't know if we will ever reconnect in like a couple 
type of thing but um yeah i think we will always be part of each other's life and again i never say never who knows maybe years down the road we will maybe we won't i don't really know um would you still like to have more children in the future or are you happy with just having one so i would be fine with p but i do want to have a sibling for her not so much because i want another child but because i would like her to have a sibling i have so many siblings i want her to have someone and i have friends and cousins that were an only child and they hate it so i would like to have another one but again i will have to find the right person that's hard to do and i don't know i'm gonna be honest with you guys this is like a i'm letting out everything on this video but i'm gonna be honest with you me and tone have actually talked about possibly having another child even if we're not together kind of like laura disick and Courtney kardashian <laughs> Uh, because, I mean, I already know he's a great father. He already knows I'm a great mother. He's already the Penelope's father. We already share her. We already know. We already have, like, a groove. And we know how each other does things. And, I mean, why not? Like, we're already sharing one child. What is the difference of sharing another one? Um, and you could call me crazy, but that's the way I see it. Now, I'm not saying I'm going to have another kid with Tone. But we did give each other some time. Like, if we don't find anybody... Uh, Maybe we will have another child and that will be my decision. You can judge me. You can think I'm crazy. But it will be my decision and to us it makes sense. And I think at the end of the day that's all that matters. Now that my concealer has set, I'm going to use a stippling brush. And I'm kind of just going to go around and just get rid of any excess powder I might have on my face. And then we're going to do bronzer. So for bronzer I'm going to be using this Milani sun kiss silky matte bronzer i have never tried their bronzers this is what it looks like um i think i've tried their like shimmery bronzer but this is just a matte bronzer so let's just try it you know let's just try it so i'm using my fluffy brush which is super dirty i need to wash my brushes but this one is the morph morph morphe morphe uh m527 my favorite like bronzer brush so i'm gonna go ahead and do this Oh, this is pretty. This is pretty and it smells good. So I kind of like contour with my bronzer. So I just go on my forehead and your chin because you need your chin contour. Oh, this is really pretty. And it has a lot of pigment. So definitely go easy on it. Okay. Oh, I like it. All right, it's pretty bronzer. Okay, so love this. So once that's done, again, I'm going to go with the stippling brush. Kind of like blend everything. Because again, you don't want to have harsh lines. But you're not doing this really hard. You're just lightly doing it with your brush. I don't feel like this is a tutorial. I hope it's not. I'm just showing you what I do every day, guys. All right. Let's answer another question. Are you doing okay after the move and breakup? Yes, I am doing great. I told you guys I'm at a good place. Will I be dating again anytime soon? Huh, so, I don't know. Dating is kind of crazy to me. I haven't done it in so long. I was with Tone with, for so long. Uh, but, yeah, I am not. Sorry. I hear like my lips are really dry. I'm not opposed to dating. I don't know. I think, again, I would just go roll with the fl flow. Go with the flow. <laughs> roll with the punches. Go with the flow. Um, if the opportunity comes, I don't see why not. Uh, I don't think I'm ready for anything serious right now. Like, I don't think I'm going to be getting married anytime soon or finding, like, a life partner. But you never know. I'm not opposed to it. You never know. Unless you try. So, yeah. Would I go on dates? Yeah. If the right person comes and I want to go on dates, I will. Uh, how often do you get your nails done? Is it dip or acrylic? I get my nails done about every three weeks. I hate going to get my nails done. If you've been following me, you know this. So, I try to push it as much as I can. So, I usually go every three weeks. And this is dip powder. I switched to dip powder about almost two years ago. 
maybe more and I love it I haven't turned back so that's what I do so have me and Tone discuss discussed discuss seeing other people I mean I don't think we have talked about it like talk talked about it but like I mean it's gonna happen we're both single young people it's gonna happen and again I just go with the flow I don't know how I'm gonna feel about it I don't know how he's gonna feel about it but I guess we'll see when it happens we will cross that bridge when we get there um what is uv okay so i don't know if i told you guys maybe i have on my vlogs i'm looking for a new car uh i asked on my instagram like for uh cars um that you guys have and that you think are great so i actually looked at a jeep cherokee a jeep compass which i i like but it's i think it's a little too tight and then i looked at a ford um uh, escape and i think today actually later on we will we were gonna go to we might go to tony's actually gonna come help me uh with peace so i could go look at a rav4 so yeah those are the suvs oh my battery died let's just move on to blush real quick this blush you guys have seen it a million times is my favorite pretty much all time blush it's what i go to all the time it's what i travel with because it literally goes with everything it is their baked powder blush and it is in the color luminoso this has been my go-to since high school probably i don't know how many of these i have purchased you guys because i love this um it is such a pretty peachy tone and it has a little bit of shimmer but go with this brush i smile right on the apple of my cheeks and i bring it back <laughs> this is a cute face again up over your cheeks and you bring it back and it has a lot of pigment so as you could tell girl super pinky but then again you go with the stippling brush brush it out hoo, 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 hoo. if you want to be done you don't need to highlight but i love a good highlight so we're gonna do a highlight and for highlight again i have shared this a million times with you guys because it is one of my favorite recent purchases it is the milani um stellar lights palette in the rose glow so it comes with this three shades and i probably use this one the most this one i use in the inner corner of my eye sometimes and this one to me is more like a bronzer or sometimes if i'm going out i will put it over my blush and kind of like give it a more of a glowy look but this one for the most part is the one i use the most so that's what i'm going to use i am using my anastasia beverly hills uh highlight brush which is my favorite highlight brush so I'm just gonna go in again really pigmented make sure you tap and then we're gonna highlight and I just highlight this area of my face and I bring it up but I mean do you see this do you see this guys this is $10.99 I think at Target um and like it doesn't have anything to envy to like a $30 um highlighter it's like super super highlight super highlight so you see i bring it up kind of like in a c shape here and then what i do is put some on my nose with my finger tip of my nose you know make it nice and cute boom bring it up a little bit and again stippling brush just kind of like take the intensity off a little bit but that's what i do and then again with my finger kind of go here cupid as well and whatever i have left on the brush i'll go like here a little bit there you go now that is pretty much what i do every day i have lash extensions so in my opinion i don't feel like i need to do eyeshadows sometimes i'll do eyeshadows sometimes i won't and then sometimes i'm like you know what i want a little something something so i will grab a fluffy brush like this one actually this one might be too fat like this one this is mac 224 is just a fluffy brush and i will go into my bronzer or you could go into your blush and i will put that on my crease of my eye so tap and i will put this on the crease of my eye so this will give me a little dimension to my eye it will look like a little something something but not too much so again don't judge my lashes 
bronzer is a perfect look and it's also great for fall because it's that earthy tone so like this is what i would do if let's say i'm going out and or you know if i just want a little something extra we're almost done I promise so that is what i've done to my eyes so let's do the last thing that i probably do every day just because i like the way it looks i'm gonna go ahead and use the same highlight palette and I'm going to go in with either, sometimes I do this color, sometimes I do this one. Uh, but let's go with this one since I'm doing a little more makeup today. And I just go in the inner corner of my eyes really lightly. Again, guys, this is really pigmented. So you can see the difference. And it just feels like this just opens up my eye. But very lightly, I use this pencil brush that's what it looks like and i kind of like drag it out a little bit at the bottom right there all right so the last thing i'm gonna do is put a little bit of eyeliner and this is my holy grail eyeliner it is teddy eye call by mac this is a brown color that has a little bit of a shimmer and this is all i use because i think black is too harsh uh on me i have small eyes so black tends to just close them up more but i'll wear this if i want a little extra so you see the difference between this i don't use this eyeliner every day it's only if i want little extra makeup um that's all i do so you can see the difference between my eyes but that is pretty much it this is the face that i have pretty much every day that you guys ask me the last thing i'm gonna do is uh use some lipstick so this bold matte lipsticks is their new collection from uh, milani and these are amazing first of all the packaging let me get one so you guys can see the packaging it comes in this like matte um black matte like lipstick package so cute and then the names are amazing i think they're like the collection is called bold color statement matte lipstick so the colors are like i am pretty i am smart i am worthy love these i think i am smart is probably my favorite so far it is a lot i think it's like a dupe for um pillow talk from charlotte tilbury and it is probably a quarter of the price so this is the shade that i've been using a lot and these are matte lipsticks but they don't feel super matte and they don't feel your they don't make your lips feel like they're gonna crack and fall and fall off your face so this is what i've been using let's answer one more question because i'm pretty much done i need to brush my lashes but other than that i'm pretty much done so let's answer uh, a color here um a color a question how did you find the courage to start your channel did you worry about people about being judged honestly i had the courage because um tom pushed me a good friend of mine at the time pushed me and um i kind of needed it i needed something because that's when i had moved to new orleans i had a new baby i was a stay-at-home mom i had no friends or family around so i really needed something for myself I love being a mom. I love being a mom to pee. I love being home with her, being able to be there with her, but it just wasn't enough. I needed something for myself. I have worked my entire life, so I needed something like a hobby or something like that. And I said, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to start a YouTube channel. And what's the worst that could happen? That it doesn't work out. And then I know. But if you don't try, then you would never know. If I would have never started a YouTube channel, I would have never gotten to where I am right now. I'm not huge, but i it brought me so much happiness and joy it changed my life like it changed my life i'm able to work less outside of the house and be home with penelope i love doing it which is very important to me because that's the type of person i am it doesn't matter how much money i can make in something if i don't like it i would not do it because i need to do things that make me happy i need to do things that i enjoy i refuse to live a life where i am not happy so if I would have never started my channel, I would have known. I would have known. Like, you never know unless you try. And the worst thing I told myself, I was scared. I was nervous. Don't get me wrong. I was. I was so scared. I was so nervous. It took me forever because I couldn't figure out how to edit videos. But I was like, you know what? What is the worst that could happen? That it doesn't work out and then I know. It's not my year thing. Or that I do good and it becomes something I love. So 
you just gotta go for it and try was i scared that i was gonna get judged no because it's not the personality i am i told you guys this so many times since i started my channel i don't care what people think about me in real life so honestly i could care less what people behind a screen think about me if you don't like me if you don't like my content if you don't like who i am if you don't like the way i do things you don't have to watch me and if you feel the need to judge me for what i do or for who i am then that's on you not on me and seriously like what does it matter what someone you don't know thinks like are they paying your bills are they you know are they bringing anything into your life that you're gonna miss if like they judge you or you know i only care about the people that i care for and people around me that i love think about me and i don't even care but i'm saying like that is something that like you know i i that i would probably take into heart but no someone i don't know and why you know who you are you have to be sure who you are and that should help you not care about what other people think and if you really if this is something that you think you're gonna love i say go for it and just do it just do it because if you don't do it you're never gonna know if it was something that you actually could have been successful in and could have loved so just go for it uh and then another question is what shampoo do you use your hair looks so beautiful oh thank you um actually i have been using the living proof full shampoo and conditioner and i love them my hair has always been very healthy because i don't dye my hair guys this is my real color even though i might start because i am getting a lot of grays lately but this is my real color i don't dye my hair i think i dyed my hair a handful of times in my entire life um one time i did go blonde which was wild but other than that i don't really dye my hair so that's why i think it's very it's healthy it's just because it hasn't been processed a lot uh, i always use a heat protectant on my hair um and yeah i don't really do a lot to it i mean i blow dryer and like curl it but that's about it i also don't use a strainer all the time so i think that helps it but um i don't have a lot of volume in my hair my hair tends to like go blah, blah. but that shampoo really does help it's actually the first shampoo i have ever used in my life that i have seen a difference in like it it it's so good like i love it um it doesn't smell the greatest i feel like other shampoos have such a good scent and i love that and these don't have like the most amazing scent but i love the way they make my hair look like it does give it volume and i think it doesn't let it go like blah like other shampoos so that's what i've been using uh let me put this lipstick on all right so you guys could see here you could use a, a lip liner if you want but so I have half of it. As you could tell, it's kind of like the color of my lips, which I really, really like. Uh, so I'm just putting that on. Again, you could use a pencil if you want. I just don't feel like I need it. But that is it. And then they also sent me their lip glosses, which I do have some of these. These are the keep it full glosses so these have a little bit of shimmer these two and then this one oh uh, it does have a little bit of shimmer too but it's more of a mauve color so these are the three shades they sent me very very pretty i feel like i want to put one of these on let's try this no i feel like let's try this one this one has a little glitter and i usually don't do lip gloss with glitter but you know what yolo oh, did i just say that i'm such a loser uh ah oh wow this is pretty okay it's not too sticky put it over <laughs> i put it over my lips oh this is really nice you guys it's not super sticky and it looks really pretty on i know you can't really tell the glitter a lot and it's kind of cooling mm hmm I like it. I actually really like this. Okay, so Prismatic Peach, shade number three. <laughs> All right, guys, so that is it. This is what my face looks like. I always make sure at the end of doing my makeup that I have blended everything nicely. Everything looks good, put together, you know? 
you don't have any crazy stuff going on and then the last thing i do is set my makeup i'm gonna go ahead and use make it last because i am already super glowy so i don't think i need to look any more dewy this is a very glowy look and it's what i like so let's just go ahead and spray this i don't like to get it too much on my eyebrow and my lashes so i try to cover them a little bit oh, this smells so good too do it everywhere girls do it everywhere so that is it you guys this is my makeup look this is what i ended up looking like and i hope i answer most of your questions i had a few left but i feel like this video is long enough and i don't want to make it longer but you know i could also answer questions on my vlog so and i feel like when i vlog i can trying to like catch you guys up on life and kind of like tell you how i'm feeling and what's going on so you guys are up to date but that is it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you think let me know if you like the makeup look let me know if you have any other questions and i'll just try to answer them on the comments uh but as usual thank you so much for watching i appreciate you guys so much if you're new to my channel thank you so much for subscribing i hope you guys are enjoying the content uh, make sure you check out the coupon code for melani if you want to try any of these products um just if you are buying something you might as well use a coupon you know what i mean like you might as well save some money um and that's it i will link everything that i use down below so you guys could get to it and i will see you guys on my next video thank you so much for watching bye